Hello and welcome to another Dennis Wick Products interview. And I'm here today with Jay Jennings. Was there an event that sort of uh, then made you think, this is what I'm going to do? Was it a series of gradual things or was there this moment where, you know, you, you, you mentioned you listened to somebody in the gym and that maybe got you interested in it, but you could then have moved on to any instrument. You could have been a vocalist, you know, whatever. But I'm just wondering what it was that, allowed you to think no i'm going to stick to trumpet this is what i want to do well i had really really good teachers i'll say that i i, I studied privately from the get-go um you know i was i was enrolled in the band program which was also a, a pretty pretty decent band program um here in tech or at home in texas um and my band director my first band director was jolette wine was her name is her name and she was just a fabulous teacher. And she made it a point to say, you know, it's very important that you all study privately if you want to do this. And so all of us that were able did. And I just had really good, there was a good, there was a good music education system in place when I went through, I was lucky. And I, uh, my last private teacher, I, I uh, still have a relationship with, you know, like I, I just um, I had I had good teachers and and it, and it kept me practicing and there was a good sense of friendly competition in the school system that I thought was really important. I grew up playing sports, so I was used to that competitive nature, and uh, you know, bringing it up through the so- the same school system that you play sports with these kids, the same kids, you know. Are, are now in the band program and you're you're trying out for all region and all district and all state with them and all these competitions and stuff so the friendly competition kept you practicing and um yeah you know and marching band was a, such a thing here uh, I, I talk about it a lot because it, it amazes me that i was able to do such a thing <laughs> I, I went down this rabbit hole the other day where i i was watching a, a 1999 state marching band contest in texas that i was performing and i was a freshman in high school i was 14 years old and i was just running all across the field doing all kinds of double tonguing stuff while i was running across the field and i was just like how did they get these kids to learn this I, it was mind-boggling you know uh what you can do at that age just uh, almost effortlessly not effortlessly we worked hard but you know, a lot of times you're you're thinking about other stuff while you're at those rehearsals, and it's just like hours and hours of muscle memory and all this stuff. So the training was there. the The work ethic was put in place at a young age for me to be like, "This is what you need to do to succeed." Um, nobody really pressured me to practice. I was I was driven by a lot by my 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 buddy clay who was a who is a fantastic saxophone player he would you know he played saxophone and he would practice for hours and hours and hours and hours and i would quit you know because i'd get tired or whatever i'd get uh sad because i my chops would get tired and i couldn't play as as long as he could at that age and i was like "Ah, this this is terrible so i would just put it away and he would keep going but that that would drive me and inspire me to and I was always inspired by people practicing. I and I still am, and and you have to to get any better. <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And the moment, especially as a brass player, a trumpet player, it's like the moment you stop practicing it's like you may as well throw in the towel. Unless you, I mean, even if you have a, a job playing trumpet every night, or you know, like a, a Broadway show gig or something where you're playing the same show every night, it's like you're you're in a routine where you can do that. But it's just like you're just like unless you're at home putting the time in on your own and i think that's also what drew me to the trumpet was how how consistent you have to be at it to to make any sort of gains whatsoever and the minute that you stop being consistent you lose ground really quickly and it's just like there's not many things like that in life that uh that take that kind of dedication you know, and I, I respected that and I still respect it. So 
that's, you know, that's I, I don't know if I had that. I don't know if I had that deep of a intuition when I was young and drawn into it. But you know, in retrospect and in hindsight, looking back, it's like, man, it's like, yeah, that's really what drove me is just uh, understanding that if you don't, you won't. And it's like, that's it. It's like, and then you, you know, you look at. I said I grew up playing sports. Uh, I'm still really into sports, and I respect all athletes and stuff. And it's like, you're literally, as you get older, you understand this. You, uh, you're, you're using your body to play this instrument here. So you got to take care of your body. You got to, you got to work out basically these muscles. Even if you don't work out any other muscles, uh, it's you know it's, it's a muscle. So it, it, you're. You know, I'm not I'm not comparing trumpet players to professional athletes, okay? But I'm saying there is a there's a comparison there. Um, but when it when it comes to anything in the, at the professional level, you have to maintain consistent practice, and I think that uh, goes across all fields. Yeah, that's but great. The trumpet great is advice. unforgiving, though. The trumpet is unforgiving. So there's a couple of other fields where you can kind of get away with skating for a while. The trumpet is like you, you, you miss a day. It takes you two days to get back to where you were and then just multiply that because it's a vicious, brutal cycle. You can't get behind. So, but I'm you a, know, I'm a big subscriber <laughs> to, to regular practice. Yes, it, absolutely. Yeah. Um, no, thank you very much for that. That's great. Thank you very much for your time been a, a pleasure getting to meet you yeah likewise